friends welcome back and today we are going to discussing about how we can able to create the github actions okay for this we need to commit the first in of code then only we can able to do it okay the first time whenever you can see this particular github workflows this you can't see in case why you are going to uh, latest come to uh, when you are installing them it will ask you to do for github action whether you want or not if you want, it will ask you to okay add it. No, if you match that true, then it will add it in your installing time. If you make it as a false, then it will not add it. Okay. And then how we can able to do for this? Just to click on the action. Okay. See mine. You can able to see right this. You can able to see. Okay, the structure you will. Uh, but while you are doing that uh, first time. You may not be seen. Uh, example, I'll show you here. I'll show for one repo how it will go. See, now I'll go and see the web driver I go. Okay. And here, if you click on the actions, oh, here also I have created. Sorry. Uh, locals are by the GitHub actions. Say first whenever you open right, this is your main location. Here you can search for any kind of thing and automatically it will navigate and it will come back. Okay. And here you need to search for node.js. Okay. Node.js. And here you can able to see there is a one thing it will display. Node.js actions. Okay. In your case also it will show like this over here. Okay. And there are so many things, even publishing Node.js packages, deployment, no Azure DevOps. This is basically it will go for the Azure DevOps and it will connect with that and keep a package from that. But this will help you to some of the things to configure by default. Whenever you click this configuration, right? See, automatically it will provide for some things like a main branch, which is you have, right? Automatically it will set up some. Uh, Codes and all. Okay, you can copy and paste it, and everything you can do. Okay, now I'm canceling this one because we don't want right here. And our is mainly focusing on playwright with the cucumber TypeScript actions class setup. Okay, once you've done all this, okay, I'll open for this node.js.ml file. Okay, I'll uh, Click on edit. I'll copy this entire code. Okay, coming back to here, I'll paste it here. Okay, now you can see what all the things I have done in this particular location. Okay, just you can not require this all the stuff. Okay, remember this is the name. You can change for your name as well. Whatever you want, you can create. This is basically pushing and pulling the request. Where you are pushing and where you are pulling the request. Pushing is basically a master branch and uh, branch we are getting from uh, master branch only. Okay. This is by default. And uh, here is a time, building time. Okay. The jobs is mandatory like this only you have to. And in case if you are not able to do that GitHub actions, just go to my repo and copy that my code and paste it. It will work for you. Okay. And this is basically it will provide for random uh, Linux system to run your system. Okay. And uh, strategies we need to a matrix basically like uh, which node version. If you know directly node version, this stuff it is not required. Directly you can come to the node version and here you can provide for 18.x. That is a version you can directly provide. Okay. And this all the normal stuff. Then the steps it will provide the action checkout. This is basically version four. And here node JS is basically version is 18.x. That's we are hitting for node v3. Okay. And then is a caching purpose. Okay. And uh, I'm installing for play rate latest version. And also I'm installing that cucumber plugin. And also I'm installing for test node which we have done for uh, while we are installing that, okay? And uh, name called running that we are going to run for this NPM run test, okay? Once you it is run, then we can create for uh, 
actions uploading the ad packs and if you are making for always and with the reports and result is storing for two days of time okay this all the things we have done okay just you can copy paste my code and you can able to see that those are the things okay and once you come back and you can see this is the workflow it is provided success 32 one artifact is presented okay and you can see the build also what are the things it is done everything it will provide okay uses and workflow file what workflow file we are using a summary it will provide for entire details if you want you can rerun if you want to delete you can delete that okay that artifact is went for that one artifacts also presented and uh, summary list the language is what other things it is presented how many watch members are presented everything it will uh, provide here okay and uh, even the result location if you go with results inside that it will provide for 37 minutes ago it is done if you go and see the six minutes 30 minutes that is updated it is updated late okay it will update here the report you can able to download as well okay like this we can able to hit our things okay i hope it is this entire uh, information for you thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you